Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another video and today we've got something very special. We've actually got ourselves four max boom cannons and this is really, really, really cool. Um, I'm actually aiming to get this one to five boom cannons maxed. This, that would be absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm intimidated when I see one, never mind four max boom cannons. Absolutely crazy. It's a lot of loot. I actually never expected me to actually get this. Um, it takes me quite a long time to get loot because I don't raid that frequently, as you guys can see by my VPs. Um, but I am pushing up the levels. It's necessary. You don't need to do much tax per day um, to actually get your level up. You only need to do maybe 8 attacks per day, um, NPC basis and um, player basis, and you can maintain leveling up pretty fast and get yourself up to where 61 where I am. So, we're going to be doing Doctor Terror today as well. We're going to be boosting the... Hmm, one boost today is between damage and health. I think I'm going to do... Hmm, damage, just because I think it will benefit us more. I'm going to try and lose no troops whatsoever in Doctor Terror today. I'm going to be flying through this and um, just barraging this quick here that's stage one down obviously stage one two three four are very easy for um, someone of my level um, with the troops and upgrades that I've got it definitely is super easy um, but we are using the tank med strategy hopefully we shouldn't lose any troops um, usually most of the time I don't lose any troops on Dr. Terror Luckily we have one little critter box, it should finish that base off, and bang. So that goes down quite nicely, another little shard and a fragment, nice there. Um, next stage here. Right, I'm just going to lay the troops now. Barrage, barrage, artillery, artillery. And then just see what we can do should be pretty easy to take this out. Nothing should get in our way. The tanks have got so much health and the damage these tanks will be doing is, is pretty good. A lot more than I'm used to because as you guys know I am pushing for power powder. I don't spend them that much but since we got the four boom cannons it's worth one one boost today and I think I boost per hammerman as well. But since we're getting more prototype modules and stuff I did do a double boost for hammerman. Um, so I do, I do double boost my ice statues per week, so I may be using about four, um, four to five uh, power powder a week, but we are earning way more than that, so we are always pushing up our power powder and um, get, I'm going to be trying to get to 500 power powder, that's my main goal, that's a lot, I think it would be pretty cool to reach 500 power powder, I would be able to do one boost per day for a whole entire year, um, and still wouldn't run out, that's, that's assuming that I don't um, boost, don't get any fragments at all in that period, so it's going to be pretty cool, it's going to take me quite a long time to use all them up, but it's going to be definitely worth it in the end, it's going to be a good feeling having all that power powder to spend on whatever I want, um, boosting up all the time, maybe push for um, higher VP, keeping ice statues boosted all the time, and we'll definitely see how that works out. So stage 4 is going to go down pretty nice, um, no problems whatsoever. There we go, stage 4 completed. Now we're on to stage 5. Stage 5 gets a wee bit trickier, we shouldn't be losing any troops at all. This is the island base, so it is a wee bit harder than the than the volcano. The volcano is the one that's bigger, um, it is a lot easier that. You don't get much time to react in these, but we shouldn't try to do this without losing any troops. If we do, there's not going to be much troops lost. Unless there's a lot of boom cannons in the last stage, then I can completely understand. Um, a, a warrior would be able to take it out anyway. We'll skip to warriors if we can't take it with um, with the tanks. So doing good so far. Just working our way through. Not the, none of our guys are going to be losing. Well, not we're not really going to be losing anything. Just take that out. There we go. I'm just letting them spread out and take as much as they want. Nothing is in danger here. So we're just getting the this. This is probably the only one in danger, but we'll we'll obviously shock. Or smoke that when it comes to the time. There we go. A nice smoke comes out when that gets a little bit dangerous. 
And then we'll just shock them there and a little critter there. We're going to be taking the base out regardless. That's what we'll always do. Use the smokes to cover them back up. The medics are very good at healing. I want to actually get my medics up another level. Make tank medics even more beast. Um, getting the tanks up another level as well. But I'm, as you guys may have noticed, I am upgrading the armory at the moment. So the armory is going to be going up. I'm going to be getting some really cool upgrades. And it's only an hour left. But we have not got enough gold as you guys will see. So that's going to be a problem as well. Three hours till that's finished. Here we go. Stage 6. See how this plans out. Looks pretty nice stage 6 actually. I'm going to be shock. One, two, three, four. Get the rest of the medics in. One, maybe. We don't need a... I don't think we need a... A smoke. Sometimes you need to smoke the medics so they don't get... Don't get damaged. But it's looking pretty good so far. Take the cannons out. Let them move forward slightly. There we go. Shouldn't be a problem now. Shock that. And that is obviously... It should be a takedown. Nothing's going to stop us that side. Nothing should stop us here. I don't think so. There we go. Bang. Bang. Nothing down the right stopping us. Sniper towers are very strong, but they're not as strong as boom cannons and cannons. They can do a hefty amount of damage if there's... If there's a lot of them, oh my goodness, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was pretty close, actually. Um, we're going to flare into the corner here. Smoke there. Make sure you smoke the medics more than the tanks, because the medics are the ones that can be vulnerable when moving, because they will move to the back when the, when the tanks move across, because they'll be still healing up. So that's pretty good so far. Nothing's really damaging us. Going to be shh. Yeah, a critter box in there, and... Nothing, nothing is really going to be able to stop us at this point. We're just going to flare in here just to get the maximum. Get away from them sniper towers and take this base down. Stage 6. With absolutely no problem so far, guys, with the, with the bases we've had. So this is looking pretty good. No, no troops lost so far. This should go down nicely. A little smoke on the headquarters there. Bang. Right. Stage, that stage 6 was pretty, a lot easier than I thought. There was no boom cannons at all, which was really surprised. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this now. I bet there's a lot of boom cannons now. I don't, hopefully not. I mean, if there isn't, this is going to be easy. Right, um, there's two boom cannons. Um, two shocks. Let me try something out here. I'm going to take out double barrage in here. We definitely want to take the get rid of the shock and the boom cannon down the right side there. Then we're going to get the troops. I'm going to get the medics first laid in here. Then over here, then a smoke. Now nothing can touch the ro the Zookas, except for the rockets down the right hand side. Now we're pretty safe. Now we all we need to do is flare in here. Do a nice flare technique there. Now we're going to be concentrating on this shock launcher here. Getting the four hits. Shouldn't be a problem. Bang. Now all our energy is concentrated on that last boom cannon. It should be a takedown. Nothing should be touching us. Only machine guns and and uh, flamethrowers down the right hand side. There is that cannon, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. So this is looking good. This is looking really nice. I'm going to be taking down this boom cannon. Maybe cutting it in there. One more artillery till that boom cannon drops. Gonna be popping a shock in there though as well because that is ready. Quickly chuck the artillery. That boom cannon is going to drop. Reflare them back in here. Going to place a little critter box there. Making sure we lose no troops so far. Looking good. Making them all huddle up. That see the sometimes the medics do fall behind when you start to reflare, so you have to really watch out for that. We're pushing down the right hand side now. As you guys will see, there's nothing that can really stop us now. Um damage wise. I'm just letting them spread a little bit out just to, to get rid of some of the tr the defenses round about. Now we're just gonna reflare him back in here. Reflare you back in here. I'm gonna shock these guys up here. 
and now nothing should be touching us except for that rocket and as you can see this base is going to go down worst comes to worst we've got that backup smoke and bang the, that is the whole of doctor terror stage one to seven only one boost obviously i think we could have easily done this without any boosts just to make sure just because we got the four boom cannons today guys so hope you guys really enjoyed the video please give it a like and um, subscribe for more boom beach videos and i'll see you guys next time goodbye